So today in this video, I want to talk about fishing, just kind of share my thoughts on it, and then also what I think is going to happen with fishing in the future. Uh, so first off, let me just say, I think fishing is actually pretty fun. I've been doing it for a couple of days now. I've been actually enjoying myself, which is kind of surprising. Uh, I really like the factor that after I do like my daily challenge and my daily dungeons, I get kind of tired and I usually just kind of log off. Or I'll like AFK and Mushin's Tower, get my login rewards and then just log off. But now there's an incentive to do, hey, let me just go do fishing. Like now I don't have to do purely just combat content. And I'm a really big fan of that because I like that you can just kind of chill, go fishing, see some other players in the open world, which I think is a really big pro because I really love this. I love seeing a ton of different players all in just this one zone. I think this is cool. And another big factor that I really enjoy is the fact that you go to older content. Like this area here, this area you have no purpose to go here before fishing. Like of course you did for the storyline. But then after that this whole area is just completely dead. And I love the fact that now you have like a bunch of these high geared players just doing fishing over here randomly. And then you'll have players who are new to the game like maybe this guy right here. Who is questing through this area and then he's gonna see all these like geared players and be like oh my gosh they're so cool looking let me just keep playing the game and get to their level and I feel like that's just a really cool thing interacting with other players so I'm a really big fan of this fishing thing and really I would love to see them expand and go to other older content there's so many zones in Blade and Soul that are so dead now that no one does anymore like all this area uh, so many more and I feel like they can really expand on fishing to be honest though just looking at the future of fishing I'm a little bit worried and I feel like it will kind of become dead content if NCSoft doesn't step in and up the rewards so right now you're probably thinking Jark what are you talking about the rewards are awesome and you're right they are but the problem is the rewards are basically off the event that's going on so if you see right here all the great rewards like the sacred vials uh, the weapon cost reduction fish oils all the stuff you would want is all purely from the event. That's why you see so many people fishing in various areas like Gunwon City and here because they just want to do the event and get the rewards from that. Farm up the sacred vials and all that. And I feel like once this event ends, the majority of players are not going to really feel like fishing because the rewards we have without the event are pretty bad to be honest. So let's just look at them. <laughs> we have uh, a couple of costumes that, I mean, they're cool. I mean, if you don't want to do crafting to get them, you can do... The fishing version and get them but to be honest how many people are going to do this and then once you get them you're done you don't really care about them anymore and the only other options besides that are the pouches which are one you have various little pets you can get and then an ordinary sp charm which is nothing amazing you get that just from being afk and then also the upgrade pouch which has various rng chances to give different tiers of the sp charms again these are not really anything that personally for myself would make me want to do fishing for 30 minutes a day and that's what I'm really worried about I feel like the majority of players are just gonna be like oh well I don't really care about these SP charms you're probably most of the time just gonna get the 10,000 SP one anyways and so I just feel like if they don't boost the rewards to something way better I don't feel like most people are gonna do fishing and if that's the case and fishing dies off within like a month of being released I'm gonna be really disappointed because I feel like this could be a really great system as I said earlier expanding to different areas on the map it could be really fun for a lot of people but you have to up the rewards because these are not good enough in Korea they actually give you at least crystals you can get moonstone crystals elysium crystals and that's what I thought we we're going to be getting for North America and Europe but then they just give us these kind of like just really terrible RNG XP charm pouches and honestly I wouldn't even really mind if they put sacred vials into the permanent loot table for fishing and you might be looking at me like I'm crazy but why not? Why not make sacred vials for obviously over 10,000 pearls? It'd be very expensive to get the sacred vial. But why not have that option for players? I think that'd be fine. Instead of just doing events on multiple characters and burning yourself out, or running daily dungeons every day to save up enough gold to buy a sacred oil from the marketplace, why not say, hey, if you do fishing for two weeks straight, an hour a day, you could get a sacred vial. And sure, it's going to be probably more grinding than just doing your dungeons. But I would love to have that option where it's like if you don't feel like doing dungeons or events, you could get Sacred Vials another way. But anyways guys, that's just my general thoughts on fishing. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree. I know we're going to have a lot of different opinions in the comment section. But yeah, I just really feel like they got to increase that loot table or it's just not a good enough incentive for players to take time out of their day to do fishing. I feel like people will just do the general stuff they always do, just dungeons and then just log off. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little uh, discussion video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and sub to the channel. 
and I'll see you guys in this video real soon. And also let me know if you enjoyed this new mic. I definitely feel like it's much clearer than my other one. And uh, hopefully you noticed that too. Anyways, I'm out.